and welcome to Lori Fayette. It has been a hot minute. I think it's been like a year since I've done a video. And there's a few reasons for that, and I'm going to go into them before I go through this journal. Uh, one of them is basically I got really tired of the whole, all my tech stuff was playing up, and my video card wouldn't allow me to edit my videos. I had to do them on my husband's um, computer, or if he was using the computer, he would do them in the background sort of thing. So I couldn't edit them the way I wanted to edit them and it was just taking up so much time, not just doing the videos but fiddling around with the computer trying to get it to work and I, you know, like just, you'd buy a microphone and it would be average and then you'd buy something else and it was just, it was like costing me a fortune and then when the video card decided to have a heart attack and die, I was like, well, I can't do this anymore it was just so draining and then you know the other thing is that a lot of my viewers were people that had a you know that had YouTube accounts and some were genuinely watching all my videos but a lot of them were just watching two minutes chucking a comment in in the hope that I would go and watch their video and uh, that's all very well and good but when your time is put into doing you know 20 30 minute videos or even 12 minute videos and the average watch time is two uh, you get a little bit disheartened <laughs> not gonna lie um, and you know I, I didn't have time to go around and watch I, I had videos that I watched of friends and stuff as you know you guys will know who you are if you're watching this video but I didn't have time to watch every single person's video that put a comment like it was getting to the stage where I couldn't manage it anymore and for to, to get someone to watch my video for two minutes or just to subscribe to their account was like this is just it's disheartening I'm not gonna lie it's disheartening and it's um in the end I was like well I'm gonna start doing art for me and uh, so I have been doing art I have been doing um, a lot of um, pet portrait stuff and I've been making journals and I've been selling them and I've just come off a break on my um, Etsy account. I've <laughs> don't even get me started on Etsy. That's a whole new video. But uh, they would, I went on holiday mode for a little while because we had the COVID thing. And no, I haven't had COVID. I haven't been sick. I haven't. It's just life, you know. It's just basically life. I've just been busy doing things in my own in my own place and doing my own stuff and spending time with my dog and you know outside doing gardening and stuff like that. So it's nothing really serious that's gone on. <laughs> it's just life. Um, and yeah sometimes I think you've got to give things priority um, and YouTube just didn't become one of them uh, due to the things that I was saying so anyway let's look through this journal this took me a hot minute to make I must admit this was this was a this took me a long time and you'll see why I'm really proud of this one and it will be in my Etsy shop I have reopened my Etsy store because I realized that they were still paying me even though it was in holiday still paying me um, they were still charging me, even though it was in holiday mode. Um, I was still getting a bill because the the um, I basically thought it would put it on hold, but it doesn't put it on hold. It just stops it going in the search, stops people from being able to see your shop front, and they continue to pay uh, charge you for um, the fees. Uh, so your monthly fees still come out. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to open it up. There's very little in there. There's a link in the description below, um, but I will be adding things this week, or they may have already been added by the time this goes to air. So if you are interested in any of that, there will be prints and stuff as well. Hang on, I've got to move forward. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> there will be prints and stuff as well um, in there. So, um, yeah, have a look. Okay, so this book is, it is a journal, but it's also an art book. Now, I just painted this on a small canvas and I've stuck it on and this is actually a repurposed um, book I think it was Hannibal <laughs> um, sorry to the book lovers out there yes I destroy old books that I find and turn them into um, other books because you go to the library and there's so many books in there and they get destroyed and they they get rid of them they dump them they burn them so i just give them new life new purpose it doesn't even matter to me if they're falling apart because i just yeah fix them up and do it so as you can see there's a bit of lace a bit of gold thing here that's some silk um that's a wooden um one of those mdf things that are cut out a bit of lace this is um a, an edging of a piece of lace that i actually uh got from um 
a cheap shop. So a lot of the stuff on here is vintage, um, vintage or close to it because it's, you know, at the op shop. Um, yeah, so it's, there's just layers and layers of stuff there and that's silk. Oh, moving out of frame. That's silk there. So we'll get started. I'm a little bit nervous to show you guys today because I haven't done one of these in a long time. So um, that's one of my uh, prints. That's one of my pieces of art that I did out of ink and I printed it out and just popped it on a card. Um, that's just, yeah, it's a bit crinkly. Yeah it's got lined with uh, some paper and then some just some um, sorry silk underneath a piece of um, it was actually a big piece of lace um, that I found again at a cheap shop and I've cut that part out of it um, and as you see this is just collage you know there's old pattern in there the paper was eco dyed <laughs> I failed and uh, yeah it didn't work out very well so now we've just got um, eco dyed paper that I just decided that I'd collage over um, that's a bit of texture paint uh, texture paint not texture paint that's a bit of texture paste and just something I printed out and then you yeah, have sewn around it so basically I made the pages and then I put them in the book so each one was like a you know a work of art and then I put them all in so this is just some stamping that's actually um, can you see that I embossed that on there. I wasn't very good at embossing and it took me a bit to get it, but it's, I can do it now. I, I realise that you've got to hold the gun on there a bit longer than five seconds because it takes a little longer than thing. And I'm like, why is it coming off? I'm like, oh, my, I made a mess. My desk was just covered in the stuff. Be the exception. <laughs> I think I, did I glaze that over? No, that's just plain. But I did use a bit of um, this stuff. This is my new, oops, I knocked everything over. This is my new addiction. Um, it's Nuvo Crystal Glaze, um, and I really like it. The butterfly, you can see, you can't really pick it up in the pictures, in the in the film there, but you can in real life, you can see it, and you can actually feel it. So a lot of this is very um, touchy-feely. Um, you can touch it. And, uh, so, and then a lot of this is also art uh, journaling, so I've written enough there. She's sort of sitting there with a curl on her head. Um, and all these are just free um, pictures that I've got off the internet. This is some um, vintage fabric. That's a doily and I just painted it and put it on there. I wish I could find some more like that. I really like them. And then, like again, just collaging. And um, the other crow is just sitting in there. This is a nice stamp that I got. Um, really like that. And then this one, Your Story Matters. Of course it does. Everyone's got a story and everyone's story matters. So this is just some um, Atlas paper. I think I got that from Chantal from Darkest Raven Designs. Uh, she sent me some stuff and I like to use it. You know, people send me stuff, I like to use it. I don't just sit there because they've sent it to me to use. So I try to use it. So yeah, I, I use that a bit in these journals. I've sold one that I have a video in another... Slow down, sorry. Um, I've made another channel and I've put a lot of my stuff for Etsy shop in there um, and the reason I did that was so that because my it's an art channel that I try to keep the art stuff on here and the paper channel is my Zen Witch Cottage one I'll put the link in the description below if you want to go and have a look but a lot of that stuff in there is generally journals um, the reason why I'm showing you this one today is because a lot of this is art as well because there's collage and there's my own art like I drew this with uh, alcohol ink and it's see oh, this was actually a see-through kind of alcohol ink paper so you've got it on both sides I kind of I like that I like that you can see through it I like that um yeah coffee dyed paper with just a bit of thing and as I said it is a journal there are places that you can write but it's not one not the sort of journal that you could like I mean you can add to it but it's not chock a block full of writing space, if you know what I mean. It's more of a, um, like a, I don't know, conversation starter, I guess, or an inspiration starter. And you can just write things here and, yeah. So this is actually a piece of canvas and I've sewn that in and, um, that was like a, I don't know, 20 minute painting. Um, same with that one. So just quick little ones on there. Um, this is done with ink. 
Ah, uh, yeah, did that watching some movie. Oh dear, my screensaver just went on. Um, I did that watching some movie, and yeah, some but there's some little uh, what are they called beads just for that middle of that signature, and another print of mine. Uh, these will be in my shop as um, postcard prints, so I think I'm going to sell them in a set. They'll be bigger than that though. They'll actually be probably about this big. Postcard size. Eight, six, I believe they'll be. I've already done a set just to see. So there's the set sitting there. Um, and then I've left this purposely blank um, in the hope that the person that buys it feels inspired to add to it. This is another, just got a lot of that sound. Bit of stamping, plenty of places to write. Um, again, that's um, oils. So you can see it, it took me a long time, you know, this is dry. So by the time I made this book, this whole, all the oil stuff that I done, done all the oil stuff that I did um, is now dry. Some more coffee dye. That's the other side of that alcohol paper. And I just did a tree. Um, yeah, I don't know. Some people like that sort of thing. But I, yeah, a lot of this is intuitive too. I don't really give it much thought. I just did it, you know. Um, wasn't really thinking about what I was doing, but it ended up being a tree. Relax, slow down, and it's just a, a picture of a crow. And again, it's just all collage, um, paper, lace, material on that um, old atlas paper, some sewing, some sari silk with gold trim. That's some cardboard, texture paint, paste, um, our oh, acrylic paint. So yeah, um, and again. On the other side, it's left purposely blank, except for where it's um, got a bit of bleed through. I think that's bleed through. It might have just been there. Again, it's very organic. It's okay to feel the feels. And uh, yeah, there's again, there's actually, you can see that. That's actually all about free. It's the definition of free because it's out of, a, out of a journal. Out of a journal? Out of a dictionary. I'm sorry, I can't word. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. And then um, again, it's just a little, it's just light with, again, it's that eco paper, a uh, big fail. But I didn't want to throw the paper out, so I reused it. Nothing wrong with it. Perfectly fine. That's just a stencil. Um, that's textured, texture paste. You can see it's actually raised. The video doesn't really show how cool this is. I know that sounds really um, vain, but I'm actually really proud of how this turned out. Um, this is watercolour, but this paper had been gone through eco dye, so it had been boiled, and it, it just gave a really different effect. Um, it was a little awkward to try and get it to do anything, but it worked out okay. Um, then this is, I've tried to do pretty much every sort of thing, you know, that thrown everything at this. This is um, gilding all through here. Gilding. Um, she has something in her hand. I think it's a crow. It looks like a crow. I thought it was a crow anyway. Um, just some stamping. Um, collage again. And then, oh, there's, there's some more embossing there. Yeah, stamping, embossing. Um, and then you've got, this was a napkin this was a napkin and I I've just added to it you can see where I've drawn on it and I've added the birds and I've added some I've made it obvious that it's actually been added to that was on purpose I didn't want it to be like um, looking exactly like it looked but I have added to it this is all me drawing all that in and um, yeah I think that turned out really nice my fingers are sort of sticking Okay, so then you've got more nice lightly paper that you can write that on, right on that. <laughs> um, then this one's purple. You've got all the, this is actually a napkin, I just tore it and then put it on. And then this is uh, sari silk, some vellum. Yeah, and that, I love different language papers where it's a different language. See? Um, I just really like that. 
I can't read it. Someone probably can, but I can't. And I just really love that. I love the mystery. Music music paper from that's a vintage music paper thing. Um, refused to sink. I don't know what I'm heading over that way, but I'll come back over here. Refused to sink, so you can see that this is just all text. This feels nice. It doesn't look so good, but you feel it, and it has a really nice feeling to it. Again, it's very intuitive. I can't turn the page. That's not very intuitive of me. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, we've got 15 minutes up here already. Blank, blank, blank. Oh, bit of thing. We'll go a bit faster. Oh, there's some. That's the middle of the signature. Each one has different beads because you know. Um, that's just a printout. I was going to make it a pocket, but it ended up getting glued on um, because I scrapped the fact that it was going to be that kind of journal. I decided it was going to be an art journal. Again, another one that um, I did with texture paste, and it's just a feely feely one. It says forgive them if. Even, even if they're not sorry. Um, that's the other side of that music paper. I think I got that from Chantel too. Um, this is more eco dyed fail paper, but again, I wasn't going to chuck it out. I used it. Um, some more stuff. Oh, I was on the phone and I was, um, I'm not a phone person. I don't do phone calls very often. And I was on the phone and I was actually booking a doctor's appointment I think and I just started drawing this and then when I got off the phone I just finished it with a brush. It's actually just ink and a bit of water, um, ink, water down ink. So I used a brush and I used my nib pen for that. So that's what that turned out like. This is just a stamp and some paper to write on. Like it's quite thick so you could, you could collage whatever. There is a feather that is removable and some stamping and just some sewing through there that's a bit eclectic but you know a tree on some oil oh yeah that's one it's quite thick um because it's obviously covered in paint so that is a, a tree on canvas and then on the other side you've got your crow and then again some rattly paper to write on um this is really weird how this one happened. I just had a piece of paper sitting in front of me. I'm like, I've, I've got to finish this crow book. I've got to do something with a crow. Just felt like it. And she ended up just appearing. And the bird's eye gets me in the fields. Like he's just looking up at her. And then I looked at her and I thought, hmm, she looks like she's pregnant. Because she actually looks quite pregnant -y. And I thought, well, maybe, you know, she's pregnant and the crow cares, you know, that she's pregnant heavily pregnant. I don't know. It's just a little story to go with it. Um, a flower. Oh, this is uh, just my, um, the Morrigan. Basically, that was what that was based on. I just, um, what is that? Oh, it's ink, watercolour, and yeah, ink, that's it. I just used a nib pen to put a few scratchy lines, but uh, yeah, something that I did that was quite quick. Oh, I think I used a gel pen there to put the little flowers in, but anyway, yeah. Um, so that's blank. This was one of the first ones that actually I did. I did this picture before I did the cover, the actual canvas cover. Um, I don't know why, it just found objects. You know when you find rib um, ribbons? Not ribbons. You know when you find feathers on the ground? I find feathers all the time, but I, I, I'm lucky I live out in the bush, so I'm going to see feathers a lot. Um, especially when it's been raining, and you've got to be quick to pick them up because they just get wrecked very quickly. But yeah, found objects and rocks, feathers, sticks, that's all my... They're a few of my favourite things. <laughs> um, so, foolish mortals. He just very... He, this crow, again, this is a printout. Um, and it will be part of those postcard set. Foolish mortals. Well, that's what he looks like he's saying to me. Foolish mortals. And that's how I felt with this COVID thing. <laughs> and what's going on. It just felt to me like people are a bit foolish. I probably should not say that. But <clears throat> I did. Um, beads. Beads. It is well with my soul. And that is just, as you can see what I did there, I tried to 
continue I, I found a picture and I put that on so I just continued drawing so I've made this sort of little house idea that he was sitting on I have no idea what he was actually sitting on because that picture was actually only that small so yes it is well with my soul so I just felt very connected with that one and that's on a piece of oh I actually did the piece of paper with dictionary pages um, which built it up it thickened it up it didn't really need thickening up thickening up but I just like the words behind it and the words come through even though it's black you can see those words coming through and again that's ink ink is like one of my favorite things to work with you know it's it's black Windsor and Newton Indian ink and a nib pen and I'm happy that's all I need in my life that's it <laughs> you can throw everything else out um, if everything else was to go I'd hang on to my ink my nib and my my nib and my ink and I'd be happy so this one bird was in a quite a really weird pose as you see his head sort of comes around this way um, and I think I've I think I did an okay job of drawing him um, it was a bit of a weird pose one I'd never done before and this is just watercolor the whole thing is just watercolor um, and I really like how that's ha um, if you look at the picture though well I waited till it was completely dry and then I came back and did the flowers and if you look at how the flowers are the the watercolor has somewhat raised up I don't know how that's happened but it did um, so yeah that's really cool uh, and then we've got Mr. Crow on this last piece of canvas because obviously I've sewn um, the canvases in folded over and it's just him and he's all made on the other side that was just a oh, real quick one but I, I enjoyed doing it you know it's like when you do it all but I do it with oil paint um, and then this says Crow Magic that just it's just a little sewn thing on and I just drew a tree and some crows in the tree there um, all these threads are just loose I'm not cutting them if you want to cut them you can and then this one here is just a collage with some paper and another one of those prints just stuck on a card and you can write on the back of those cards oh what's, what else is in here oh look a little tag so those two are in there oh did you get a look at that one and it says speak beautiful things and we should always write, try and do that with ourselves as well not put ourselves down so that and then the back is just a wood grain um, piece of paper that I've got to with the black paint, the black paint. and she ties up with a sorry silk ribbon so that's that's that one I um, I hope you enjoyed looking through that I I'm, I'm sort of back I'm hoping to do more videos it just depends on how patient I can be when my computer is being a jerk um, <laughs> but it is nice to be doing videos again um, and I just I hope that you enjoyed that and I'm I'm, I'm sorry that I've been gone if you've missed me um, yeah, I doubt that you did but <laughs> yeah. and I will see you I'm not going to promise any videos in the next you know whenever it'll be whenever I get to it but I'm hoping to do one a week from now on so I will see you in the next video take it easy